This is a demonstration of the Salesforce API integration uh, we are doing for eSub. So by using this, we'll be able to uh, transfer all the data from Salesforce to our portal. So this is basically the REST API that we need to use for this. The URL is this one, login.salesforce.com. Uh, you just need to create the uh, REST app on Salesforce Developer Portal and you'll get, you'll get a consumer key and a consumer secret. So this uh, client ID is basically the consumer key that we'll be using. So the first request that we need to do, this is basically three step process. The first step is to get the code. So this is the URL I'll be sharing in the description. When you hit this URL, it will automatically redirect you to the uh, redirect URI that you have set up and will return the code. In this example, I have set up the URL return URL to tagbin.in just for example. But the important part is this code. I'll copy this code with me. Now, the next thing that we need to do is I'll move on to the postman part. Now in this one, what I need to do is I need to basically uh, use this code to get a refresh token. So basically the access token, I'll use that code to get the access token, right? So what I need to do is I need to hit this API, this new API that is uh, services slash OAuth2 slash token. And the parameter that I need to pass is code that I just received. I'll just copy the code which I got here and replace with this. And grant type will be authorization code. Client ID will be the consumer key of the REST app uh, that is being created. Client secret is the secret. Uh, this All of these information are there on the Salesforce profile. And redirect URI is the redirect URI. I have just URL encoded this and the code. And I'm hitting this endpoint and doing a post request. And when I send this, uh, in response, I get this entire JSON response. One of them is access token. So I'll just copy this access token. Now I'm going to create an account on Salesforce. So what I need to do is I just need to paste the O token that I created right now. Okay. I guess this is the same one. Yeah. And the content type to application JSON. Now this is important. So when you see this access token, one of the key is instance URL. This instance URL is the basically the URL that we will be using to hit to get all the data from and to Salesforce. So this is instance URL. This particular part is uh, services slash data slash version of the API and the S object. Everything in Salesforce is basically an object. One of the object that I am doing is creating this account. So if I go ahead and go to the body and create, uh, let's say, is hub account, and right now this so this this is the early one that I created already, and I do a send request, and it will respond me back with an ID which is this. That means I'm able to create. A Salesforce account using REST API. So we'll be using this to get all the data from EZUB and populate everything on the EZUB. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much.